so we got a call for a truck that is broke down in the middle of the maze they said it lost its brakes coming down the drop which sounds terrifying we're gonna head out there with some parts and see if we can get it run and get it out of there Tom do you have anything to add I have quite a bit to add so earlier today a friend of mine was like hey Tom let's go take your trail your truck through the maze and I'm like my truck is not ready for that and he said I think it's gonna do just fine so I followed him along, we got to the drop, and sure enough, I lost my brakes. So I abandoned my truck there, and we're coming back to get it now. And Angela's coming. Hi everybody, I am Tom's wife, and I'm here along for the ride. Not sure what I'm getting hit for. <laughs> now Angela's gonna give us the weather. The weather today is warm and windy. That's right. <laughs> and we're going to get them out. <laughs> I sure hope so. It's my truck. All right, we were here just a couple hours ago, and Dig Dug had brakes at this point. Oh, we almost rolled. Matt was saying we brought Angela as a control. Matt's done a lot of wheeling. I've done a little wheeling. She's done almost none. So this is what a normal human thinks of us going off road and doing this kind of stuff. They're completely nuts. They're both crazy. What are you You're, 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 you're strapped crazy. in here too. You came. I'm crazy. I'm glad Matt's driving. He's done this before. Oh, I have a seat burn, belt. man. <laughs> Serious burn. Okay, we've shown you the drop before, so today we're going to show you Angela's reaction to the drop. Oh, okay. I just need to get This is an Angela head. Angela reacts. Wow. Oh, there's my truck. Yeah. There's a customer right there. Oh my gosh. We're literally going off a mountain right now. Oh. <laughs> I'm just giggling cuz I giggle when I'm nervous. Okay, so okay. Tom is in control <laughs> right here. And then he lost control right here. Yeah. I, oh my god. Right about here I sent it. Okay, I'm just glad I really that we have Look how steep right this here. is. Yes, it's oh super. Goodness. If I didn't I'm have showing a off, I have I brakes. <laughs> Very impressive, You're kind of Matt. standing up. Very impressive. I would be slamming my head into the dash if I didn't have my seatbelt on right now. That's pretty dang wow, steep. Wow, that is super steep. He came screaming down it and you just... Yeah, he bounced pretty good. Like he did a couple of pogos. Boing, boing. Holy. And, and I'm standing over there like, <laughs> I'm like, I don't know whether to be impressed or intimidated. Like. But you had no idea that his brakes had No. Out. And he's like, like, did I just lose my brakes? And I'm like. I don't know. All right. I brought a fitting so that we can cap off the broken brake line, and then we'll have brakes on three wheels. That's 75% if my math is right. I think you're close. Do you want to flex this out so you have some room here? Or do you yeah, care? so I just drive it up. Tom's going to flex it out over here, I think. Yeah, this will be a good one. He just about run over me. Yeah. So what needs to happen, Tom's going to take this off right here, then he's going to cap it, and then we're going to put some juice in the brakes. He locked it up. The customer got their keys, remember to bring their keys, so that's good. That is not that is not a slight against Tom, that's just customers in general. We were over there enjoying the view instead of watching Tom fix it. No, nothing exciting yet. Step two, grab the bottle of brake fluid. O'Reilly's even. Step three, walk over to Dig Dug. Got a lot of steps. Step four, open the hood of Dig Dug. Okay, I'm gonna hang on to it so it doesn't sail away. Maybe back it up so we get back to the wind. Step, Turn it around. step four, actually, is to put the back of Dig Dug towards the wind so that the wind doesn't catch the hood and rip it off. That's too far, come this way. Right there. That's good. 
Oh, he's trying to stop. I keep forgetting he doesn't have brakes. I'm like, stop already. Stop. When I say whoa, I mean whoa. I was giving it all the whoa I had. Step five, open the hood. Step six, open the master cylinder. It's been a while. Well, there's a little bit of juice left. Step six. That out of there. Lose that or get it dirty. Step seven was fill the fluid. Okay, let's bleed these stomp, brakes. Stomp. We should only need to bleed that one side. Do you want to stomp or do you want to bleed? I'll bleed. Okay, I'm okay. stomping. All right. Okay, stomp, stomp, holding. Go again. Oh yeah, air's coming out. We're getting a lot of air bubbles out of here. A few minutes later, we were able to get the brakes bled. Now we're ready to put the cap on. That's like step nine. 12? I don't know. Okay. So brakes are bled. We got that one tied up out of the way. I think we're ready to roll out of here with three brakes. <laughs> Did you see Tom? <laughs> All right, now all we gotta do is drive out of here. We got in there and got it, that was awesome. I had so much fun. I appreciate Matt helping us get Dig Dug home safe. I am super glad that it is out of there. I couldn't believe it made it through that trail. It was not built for this kind of stuff. I said that on Hell's Revenge, but it is way more true on the maze. Maybe we'll do some upgrades and get it back out here. Not maybe, we will. We've already started gathering parts. Yeah, yeah. The brake line will happen right away. So we got a call for a side-by-side -side that has a wheel broken off up on Milt's Mile. We're taking the banana up there with the trailer and see if we can get it out. Got Tom with the weather. Hey, it's warm today, probably like 80 degrees, but clear and calm. Colby. Hey guys. Got Peanut back there, she's super excited. I'm excited to see how this off-road trailer performs. I've never even seen it leave its parking space before. Right now it's a little clinky. clear down in the bottom but we oh, couldn't get yeah? any farther we hit this and the portals just got wrapped into that rock and we we're done all right. all right well let's see if we can get it back here and on this the big hole down at the yeah, bottom yeah. so i came up out of that and i was going up the wheels down just, just right. pulled it on you so uh we have a weld that's all i need to weld this one way uh, you got a welder at your shop I do. that's the only thing that broke that tab look at that don't laugh at my chicken rope. Yeah. It's closing my eyes because I didn't have a hood on. <laughs> well, then that was pretty good. Got you halfway up. Got dang near to the top. <laughs> We're going to want some pressure on this one. It, huh? Tom, do you want to jump in it? Yep. We've got to drag this over. Okay. So I'm going to try to get this back in over, which may or may not work really good. Let me rephrase that. It's definitely not gonna work really good, but it may work. This is not enough to even. It'll put a little bit of angle on it. Let's actually run that out a little bit. I want you in park with your foot on the brake. We're gonna try to slide the back into this over. overhead that's pretty awesome this is gonna be pushing the limits of the width of what we can haul oh yeah, yeah. 
the, the portals, I guess they make it wider, huh? Oh, there he is. Aha, heavy. Ted came by to take a look at the drill press, and I guess he flew up here, and then Hefe gave him a ride back to the airport, and now they're flying above us. Is that not cool to eat their snacks? I find it pretty cool. Sugar wafers. Okay, we got her loaded. We just got to drive it out. What do you think, Matt? Nah. You gonna drop down melts? <laughs> We're gonna do the middle monkey. Let's All right. Do it. <laughs> All right. Let's get let's get these ramps put up, Tom, and then strap it down. Yeah. Pull it tight. Okay. Let's get out of here without spilling this. We're gonna take this back to the shop and see if we can weld that little tab back on so that. It's Where's the tire for this? Back seat. Back seat. All right. It's going to take a little bit of driving to get out of here, and then we'll head back to the shop. So Tom's doing a little scout to see if he can find a way out of here, because I don't know the way out of here. Look how much higher than the road we are still though. We got him back on track, kind of just got to look for something on the satellite view that looks like a path. leave it on the trailer to weld it up that way we don't have to rustle a, a busted whatever this thing is off the trailer got me a snack here because it's about that time he's got a bag of sugar wafers in there that are pretty good Tom and I got into them already <laughs> chicken and a biscuit all right we can see here that the customer tried to weld this and it didn't hold the other side is also welded I believe these got shortened. That didn't snap off. No, this inner part's never been connected. Just the weld around the edge broke. Yeah, I can see this one's the same. I think he stick welded them that. We just leave this one alone and just fix this one. So this goes like this, right? Or like this? Nope, like this. This side's all welded up. We're going to weld the other side just to make sure that they don't have any problems over there. Okay, I finished welding up this side. We're going to throw that wheel on and then it's ready to go. Thanks, man. Well, that was that. 
another job done. We're here with the Utah Public Lands Alliance. That's UPLA, and this is Lauren. He's the president of UPLA, and we've got Kevin here, who's the chairman. And then we've got Troy, who just helped us a whole bunch with the record games. What's your title? Fundraising guy. <laughs> we're here with Troy, the fundraising guy. These three gentlemen right here were instrumental in making sure that we got the record games up and off the ground. We gave them two months to do it. Troy jumped in with both feet. He's like, let's do this. Let's get this done. So the record games were a huge success. And without these three guys right here, it would not have happened. Something that UPLA does is they fight to keep the public lands open. So they want to keep the public lands public and get, have those lands open for use. With your help, we were able to raise $10,000 to go to the cause of keeping our public lands open so we can go out there and drive over rocks. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate it. We'll, get, we'll keep the trails open. You get them out. Right. <laughs> Thank you for getting me out. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Reluctantly crouched at the starting line. Engines bumping and bumping in time. The green light flashes. The flags go up. <laughs> turning and burning. Tom yearns for the cup. He deftly maneuvers and muscles for rain. Fuel burning fast on an empty tank. 